Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Marine Baptist Church Sunday service. Our word for today is knife, and we're going to begin our service today by standing and singing hymn number 67, Blessed Assurance. Brenda, come on here. This way, you, uh, you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born of his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight, visions of rapture now burst on my sight. Angels descending, bring from above, echoes of mercy, whispers of this is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, all is at rest, I am my Savior and happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, looking above, filled with his goodness, lost in his love. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior. Let's remain standing for a word of prayer. Mm -hmm. Dear God, thank you for this place where we can come and learn about you. Thank you for your word, which is our guide, and your Holy Spirit, who is our counselor. Thank you for the light, which reveals the path, and Jesus, our Redeemer, who gave his life so that we can be cleansed of our sins and brought back into your kingdom. We pray that you will open our eyes, ears, and hearts so that we can know you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. You may be seated, and let's sing hymn number 82, Victory in Jesus. I heard an old, old story How the Savior came from life on Calvary to save a wretch like me. I heard about his groaning, of his precious blood atoning. Then I repented of my sins and won the victory. Oh, victory in Jesus my Savior forever. He sought me and bought me with His redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew Him and all my love is to Him. He plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing I heard about his healing, of his cleansing power revealing, how he made the lame to walk again, and cause the blind to see. And then I cried, Dear Jesus, come and heal my broken spirit, 
And somehow Jesus came and brought to me the victory. Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew him, and all my love is to him. He plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing flood. I heard about a mansion he has built for me in glory, and I heard about the streets of gold beyond the crystal sea, about the angels singing and the old redemption story. And some sweet day I'll sing up there the song of victory. Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior. me with his redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew him, and all my love is through him. He plunged me to victory beneath a cleansing flood. Thank you. At this time, I'm going to ask Pam to come and bring a reading from our daily bread. Today's reading is from uh, October 22nd. It's entitled, Live to Serve. And the Bible verse is 1 Peter 4.10. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. After 10-year-old Chelsea received an elaborate art set, she discovered that God used art to help her feel better when she was sad. When she found out that some kids didn't have art supplies readily available, she wanted to help them. So when it was time for her birthday party, she asked her friends not to bring her gifts. Instead, she invited them to donate art supplies and help fill boxes for children in need. Later, with her family's help, she started Chelsea's charity. She began asking more people to help her fill boxes so she could help more kids. She has even taught art tips to groups who have received her boxes. After a local newscaster interviewed Chelsea, people started donating supplies from all over the country. As Chelsea's charity continues sending art supplies internationally, this young girl has demonstrated how God can use us when we're willing to live to serve others. Chelsea's compassion and willingness to share reflects the heart of a faithful steward. The Apostle Peter encourages all believers in Jesus to be faithful stewards as they love each other deeply by sharing the resources and talents God has given them. Our small acts of love can inspire others to join us in giving. God can even rally supporters to serve alongside us. As we rely on him, we can live to serve and give him the glory he deserves. And the prayer is, Faithful Father, please give me all I need to serve you by loving others with my words and actions today. Thank you, Pam. At this time, I'm going to ask Brenda to come and sing our special one day at a time. I'm only human. I'm just a woman. Help me be. one 
and took two of his young men with him, and Isaac his son, clave the wood for the burnt offering, and rose up and went in unto the place of which God had told him. Then, on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac his son, and he took the fire in his hand and a knife, and they went both of them together. And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father and said, My father, he said, Here I am, my son. And he said, Behold the fire and the wood, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. They came to the place which God had told them him of, and Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order, and bound Isaac his son, and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. And he said, Here am I. He said, Lay not thine hand upon the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, from me. And Abraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, behind him a ram caught in a thicket, by his horns. And Abraham went and took the ram and offered him up for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh, as it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. Further along in Genesis 22:15, we find, And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time. And we're going to look at, at these other verses, but, but I'm going to turn the screen for them. Because I want to point out something here. I've got it circled, outlined, And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time. Okay, when did he call the first time? Well, it turns out, it, it looks like it's God is the angel that, of the Lord. And he, angel is messenger. And um, so it looks like he says, by myself have I sworn. Now that's something that God does. He swears by himself. When it is firm, the, the highest, he, he, God can take an oath. It's okay. He takes it on himself. He, and the angel of the Lord is, is the one who's referring to, by myself have I sworn. And then it says, saith the Lord. Okay? So God's all over this. It's God himself telling Abraham this. We have spoken of re recompense and reward. And in these other verses, we find that God is going to reward Abraham, recompense him because he obeyed God. He didn't question, he just did what he was told to do. All right, here I want to point out, and I've got me in three places, every one of them, I've got the seed, okay? He will multiply the seed. 
thy seed shall be, um, the seed will be as the sand of the sea. In other words, Abraham is going to be multiplied enormously. Let me stop for just one second and point something out. Some people need to know this. God hates child sacrifice. In the story in Judges of Jephthah, we find that Jephthah sacrificed his daughter in fulfillment of a vow to God, but he lived in a time when the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord and served Balaam. Balaam. Later on, in the time of the kings, we find that there was an evil king of Judah, Ahaz. 20 years old was Ahaz when he began to reign, and reigned 16 years in Jerusalem, and did not that which was right in the sight of the Lord his God, like David his father. But he walked in the way of the kings of Israel, and made his son to pass through the fire according to the abominations of the heathen, whom the Lord cast out from before the children of Israel. Samaria, during this period of the kings, is known as Israel. Today Israel is, is Israel. But back then it referred to the ten northern tribes and Samaria was their capital, and it is well known that they worshipped idols. God condemns shedding innocent blood. God hates child sacrifice. And here I've got two clouds. The kind where the child dies physically. God hates that. He, he doesn't want us to, to kill our children. He wants them to live for him. God wants us to give our children to him, to sacrifice them to him for their life. Last week we learned that we are born into spiritual darkness and cannot worship God until we receive His Holy Spirit. And one of my favorite verses that, that talks about this is John 4, 24. God is a spirit, and they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. In the New Testament, in Hebrews, we find by faith Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac, and he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son. The next verse, of whom it was said that in Isaac shall thy seed be called, accounting that God was able to raise him up even from the dead, from whence also he received him in a figure. Abraham obeyed God. Abraham believed God. Abraham trusted God. Abraham had faith in God. Everything that I do is designed to teach you about spiritual. It's a seed that is being planted in us. The harvest is coming. Everything will be cut down. The weeds and tares are burned. 
the spiritual fruit is harvested for the kingdom. As we give them, our children, God gives them back to us. As we give, God gives back to us. Let's pray. Dear God, teach us to number our days and to realize that you have given them to us and they are really your days. Then we ask that you will show us the path that you have given us, which is the blessed path and which offers the best life. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless you.